Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time coming across my channel, welcome to my channel. To my Sony subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I thank you guys for clicking. So do not hesitate to subscribe. If you never subscribe, go and subscribe right now. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload any video, you will be notified. Mm? Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for all your support. I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all of you that's always clicking. You know, you always click. Whatever I post, you always click. I appreciate you all. You guys are the best. You guys are the reason why I'm here. Thank you guys for clicking. Make sure you, sus you subscribe if you never do that. Okay, guys, let's go straight to this video. This uh, lady, him, um, the Minister of uh, human Humanitarian, was suspended by our <laughs> our able president, <laughs> Tinubu. You guys, <laughs> Nigerians know they take a miss when it comes to the matter like this. In matter like this, they don't they don't delay at all. They don't they don't slow. A according to the news, this lady, within some months of her being in the office as a as a minister for humanitarian and the wait, you guys, let me read it because <laughs> within some months, now this woman don't transfer, she don't transfer a huge amount of money to her own personal account, you guys. She transferred the money. She <laughs> she approved it for the money to enter her own personal account within some space of time. She don't even hesitate. She did not even think. Ah, let me spend at least one year in the office before doing something like this. She didn't think twice. She transferred a huge number of amounts of money. You guys, Pres breaking news. President Tinobu suspends Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Beta Edu, from office. The President suspends Minister of Humanitarian and Poverty Alleviation, Beta, Beta Edu. President Bola Ahmed Tinobu has suspended the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. Alleviation. Dr. Beta Edu from office with immediate effect. Dr. Beta Edu from office with immediate effect. A statement released by President Spokesperson Ajuri Ngerali says President Presidential Spokesperson Ajuri Ngerali says the President further directs the Executive Chairman of Economic and Financial and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to conduct a <laughs> wonder, you guys, no be smart you know. Yeah? To conduct a thorough investigation into all aspects of the financial transactions involving the Federal Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, as well as one or more agencies, they, they are under. <laughs> My people, the right up is plenty. Old. So this woman, <laughs> no be smart, you know, within some space of time in the office, like this lady, this lady don't transfer a huge amount of money into her personal account. You guys, no be smart, you know. Hey, we are still talking about uh, 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 Mrs. Dezan. Who is the minister of petroleum? Some years ago, the woman embezzled a lot of money. As they are investigating the matter, she run, pam, go UK, go stay. We are still talking about that one. This one that is even more younger, she make it I mean, as in I don't know how she do it. So a huge I can't even call that money. You guys, I can't even call that money. As I'm talking to you. Today, this woman went to visit uh, President Bola Met Nobu and she was denied access. She was denied entry to get access to, to President Tinubu. Why is she looking for President Tinubu? What is she trying to do, madam? You go face her more. You see, eh? This is the way they call you so. Hmm? You are going to face it. Better, I'll be what is your name. 
as young as I, I think I believe this woman will be in her in her late forties or so. If if so, I don't know. She keep on using the money to slay, <laughs> to slay. They appoint a young woman. Before they said they are appointing all this with somebody like Dezan who bezled a lot of money. Now they don't appoint younger one. This woman will be in her mid forties or late forty. Now she 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 transfer this kind of amount of money into her own personal account for just within two to three months in the office. Now wow, my people, as I'm talking to you, this woman. Try to get access to uh, Bola Med Tinubu president, Bola Tinubu, and they she they were they, she was denied access to get through. As I'm talking to you, she can't run, Pia, go to Shiloh. She don't go to Shiloh now, go they testify. What she's testifying, I don't know. The kind of testimony she's giving me, I don't know, you guys. Which kind of testimony is she giving? Madam, wait until the investigation is over before you will have anything to testify. But as from now, as for now, I mean, as for now, you have to calm down, calm down and face the legate because as Nigeria is right now, we don't need this kind of story where they touch heart. We don't need story that touches the heart. Do you understand? You have to calm down, go one place, sit one corner, sit in your one corner for your house. They watch the investigation as they take place by EFCC. I beg go. I beg on her because many people are hungry right now. Many people, they're hungry, you guys. Many people, they're hungry. So you have to go and, and sit down and watch, okay? You have to sit down and watch, you guys. I'm going to... Hmm. Now, wow, wait. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to read the news here. Hmm. Now, wow. You don't run, go meet Tinubu. Tinubu, they deny her access to get to, you know, they chase her back. The video is circulating right now. As they deny her access to go to Tinubu, Tinubu office. Now, in this woman, don't run, Piam, she don't enter Shilo. Go the testimony, go the testify. <laughs> My people no be smart, you know. What in the what in the shell? Hey. Okay, so about the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, the Muslim lady Halima realized that better edu. I'm reading from um Cutie Juice, you guys. Cutie Juice, the blogger. <laughs> I'm reading from his platform, you guys. The Muslim lady, Halima, realized that Beta Edu, the minister, had moved huge billions into her personal account from the ministry's account, and she still had pending transactions to be moved. What? My people, not be smart, you know. Yeah. So, his, so this Halima moved the remaining 32 billion, 32 billion naira into three other accounts belonging to the ministry, and she informed few top officials in the ministry about that this is to stop better from looting the whole money from that particular account. Hey, when Beta found out that when she found out that the remaining money wasn't in the account, she went, she, she, she went to move more. She called Harema and questioned her. Since she is in the next main person who has access to that particular account, Halima refused to tell Beta where the remaining money was. Beta then reported to EFCC that Halima has stolen, stolen money from the ministry. Upon Halima's arrest, she showed EFCC the three accounts where she moved the money to and the money was intact. Hey! This woman don't enter supo. <laughs> she go here one way. Now that she go no say kaki is not leather. Mm? Nigerians are in in Bangladesh way, and you, and you are there moving billions into your account, your personal account. You never reach how many this thing where they they don't approve. They appoint this woman as a, as a minister of a, a, a elevation minister for poverty and kiniko kiniko. Why well, I don't know you guys. 
Now, wow, if I go to comment session to read it for you guys, eh? On a go, on a go, on a go bow. Comment section. You need to see comment section. You need to see comment section, you guys. You need to see comment section. Oh. Comment section is on fire. Oh. Long story. That minister should be closed down. Nothing right has ever come out of that ministry. It's been scandals upon scandals from school feeding programs to traders' money. <laughs> the comment section. So this woman is really in soup. <coughs> Let's sit back and watch how it really goes because this woman, she's going to face the legacy where we say the blues and the legacy where we say she prepared for herself mm? at early stage in office as early as three three months. That's 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 huge. That's huge, my friend. That's that's. That, in fact, uh, as I'm talking to you, I'm shaking. What is this? Okay, guys, this is why I'm going to end it. I'm going to end this video here. If you never subscribed to the, till this moment. What are you waiting for? My my friend, what are you waiting for? Bro, sis, eh? What are you guys waiting for? Subscribe. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload, you will be notified. Until we see next time. Peace out.